Hello everybody, my name is Mike Gag. Uh, in this video we are going to look at configuring the Kinect for the Unity game engine in Windows. Now for this tutorial I am using uh, Windows 7 64-bit however these instructions could, should work with uh, Windows 7 32-bit uh, uh, and pr probably Windows Vista and XP but I have not tested those. Um, and you're going to want to do a few things here. There's a couple websites we're going to want to go to to download some files and I'm going to show you those right now. Now the first player you're going to want to go, uh, here I'll pull up on the screen, is unity3d.com slash unity slash download. That'll bring you to this screen here and you are going to download the current uh, version of Unity which is uh, at the time of this recording 3.4.2. Um, now if you're like me, I had a previous version of Unity installed uh, before getting my Kinect to work. I had uh, Unity 3.3 if you have anything uh, earlier than Unity 3.4, you're going to need to uninstall Unity uh, and reinstall the newest version. Uh, you may be able to just install the new version over top of the old version. Not 100% certain on that. I did a full uninstall and then reinstall. So you're going to want to go ahead and download that. And I have that already downloaded here on my desktop. Okay, now, uh, once you've downloaded that, it's about, it's about four or 500 megabytes you are going to want to go here. You're going to want to go to zigfu.com. All right, zigfu.com. Uh, the people here uh, at Zigfu have done an amazing job uh, working with the OpenNI package and creating some, uh, uh, some useful software for interfacing with Unity. Uh, once here, you're going to go to the downloads link. And there's a couple things we want to download. The first is the development bundle. All right. Uh, the development bundle comes with the NITE or the the, the skeleton um, uh, library, as well as the Open NI software, the Sensor Connect driver, um, and a few other things. You're going to want to download that for Windows, and I have that right here already downloaded. Next, you're going to want to download the Unity 3D bindings. All right. Uh, you just download those, and I have those here. All right. Great. Once you have those three files, you can uh, we can begin working. It. Now, before you install anything, um, if you uh, if you you all have Unity 3.3 installed, uh, you're going to want to uninstall that. Like I said, you should be able to over or, or install on top of that with 3.4, but I, you know I can't verify that. If you have any Kinect software or drivers already installed, you're going to want to remove them right now. You're going to want to fully remove any Kinect drivers you already have installed. Um, the, the ZigFu bundle will put the, uh, the, 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 the Kinect driver back onto your system uh, and to avoid any conflicts or, or strange inconsistencies or whatever uh, it's important that you remove any old drivers that you have. Alright, uh, once your, your system, all the drivers uh, are removed and at that point I would I'd definitely recommend doing a system restart um, you're going to want to install Unity right here, double click that uh, I already have Unity installed, so I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to go ahead and do that on this video. Uh, but it's a pretty straightforward installation. You're just basically going to choose where you want it installed, and kind of a next, next, okay, you're done. All right. Uh, if you chose to have Unity move to your taskbar, you will notice this nice new Unity icon uh, is now visible. Great. When that's done, you're going to want to go ahead and open up uh, and run this SigFu Dev Bundle. All right, and that's what's going to put like the night and the open NI and the driver and everything on your system. Uh, one thing that got me while I was installing this is it's going to pop up and it's going to say uh, would you like to install the driver? You know basically it's, it's warning you hey we don't know who this driver is by, you know you want to install it, do you not want to install it? And read the two options carefully because um, I, I was tricked the first time and I hit no don't install on accident and I had to completely uninstall everything reboot my system and to re restart the install process. So just be sure you click the right one. You do want uh, the driver installed. All right. And then uh, when that says it's done, uh, fantastic. Uh, at that point, you'll have Unity installed. Uh, you have to install Unity first. You can't install uh, ZigFu Dev Bundle uh, before Unity. Unity has to be on there first. Uh, once both of these are installed, you're going to come over here to C program files mines x86 because I'm a 64 bit machine. Open and I samples bin release. These are a bunch of files or a bunch of uh, applications that exist to help you test to make sure your Kinect is running uh, or, or is installed correctly. Uh, before you run one of these, you're going to want to go ahead and plug in your Kinect. 
Uh, so you'll plug in the connect. It's going to do that finding drivers. Drivers is actually installed. All right. Uh, so assuming now your connect is is plugged in, uh, you'll have like kind of a flashing green light on the connect. Uh, we're ready to go ahead and try one of these. I'm going to go ahead and do the NI sample viewer. And if I get the depth mask, then I know my software is running great. And uh, and there we go. So uh, if you've ever wondered what I look like, there I am. Um, okay, so looking at this, I can tell that we have successfully installed uh, the, the drivers for my Kinect. Okay. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to close that. So now it's time to go ahead and, and use these bindings inside Unity. I'm going to go ahead and open Unity. Now, if this is your first time opening Unity, you're going to be asked to create a project. Just go ahead and create a project. You don't need to choose any assets at this time. Um, just you know, go ahead and open up Unity. I already created a project, which is why I'm looking at this screen here. Uh, once you've created a project and told it where to save it, you'll be looking at the same screen I am, where we just have our, our standard Unity interface. All right. Now, from here, I want to go ahead and bring in the binding. So I'm going to come to Assets. I'm going to go to Import Package, Custom Package. And that's going to bring me to uh, uh, where I can load these packages. And I'm going to come down here uh, to my desktop. And I'm going to select the Unity Open NI Bindings. That's what we downloaded. Uh, and we're going to hit open. It's going to list all of these different things. Um, the important ones are the scripts, uh, but we can also load in these scenes that, are, that exist for us to test their, our stuff out. We'll give that a moment here. Great. Okay, so I can see down here that all of my uh, my my uh, connect stuff has loaded my my open ni the other materials the scripts and everything else. The final step in testing my installation uh, is to run one of these scenes and see if we can get it to work. So I'm going to open expand my scenes here and I'm going to choose avatar front facing. Um, if you have a friend with you, you can do avatar two players um, so that both of you can uh, mess around with this. But uh, it's just me right now, so I'm going to do avatar front facing. Uh, oh, I, I currently have just a default scene here, so I'm going to hit don't save. And we have our avatar front facing game. We can navigate around here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play. And it's going to ask me to calibrate. Now I'm going to have to walk away from my, my microphone real quick here uh, and stand up. You can see me down in the lower right hand corner. You can see the little screen, see what we're looking at. And to calibrate, you're going to stand up and you're going to put your hands up. Oop. Just like that, and there we go. Okay, kind of jumped a little bit. But you can see now, it's monitoring my motion, and things are working out just fine. Shift, kick, you know, move hands, move the legs, cross your arms. What's really neat is you can do in front of you and behind you. All right, so that's the, that's the depth that uh, that's, it's telling you where stuff is. So, okay, great. So Connect is installed. Uh, it's obviously... Um, it, it's obviously uh, working with Unity, and, uh, and the scripts provide a great way to see kind of how they set things up, and you can, uh, you, can, you know, figure out how they've done it, and you can write your own projects. Great. All right. Thanks for watching.